<laughs> and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some mono green stompy. Uh, so what we do here on Tuesdays on stream is not every single Tuesday, but a lot of Tuesdays. We'll, we'll do some tier one at Tuesdays every now and again. And we've played a lot of the tier one decks in standard right now. They haven't really been changing over the last few weeks. So what we're doing here today is I am playing a deck list from this past weekend's Arena Mat Mythic Championship Qualifier. Uh, these are uh, four decks that I picked out that were that made day two, so they were in the top 128 there. And I think that meant that they had a record of 7-2 or better. And they all looked pretty sweet, uh, like these ones that we're playing here, and uh, wanted to take them over to ranked and play a few matches with them. So you can see like these decks over on the left. Hey, Hawkeye. Hawkeye is joining us here. Um, but yeah, we're going to have uh, Mono Green Stompy. That's right. Mono Green Stompy made day two. And this looks really good. Like This, this basically looks like, if y'all remember, I played a Mono Green Stompy deck before M20 came out. Uh, like one of the last days of War of the Spark standard uh, after Vivian Arcbow Ranger was spoiled. And it looked pretty similar to this. And it really felt like the card that the deck the deck was missing was, of course, Vivian. Um, but I wanted to kind of showcase what a, a Vivian deck could kind of look like. And we actually hadn't really gotten back to it. And you saw this deck list and I was like, oh, perfect. I, you know, I love me some Vivian Arcbow Ranger. I think it's a pretty good uh, card to pair with Vine Mirror. And I, I don't think I really have paired them up too much yet. And so, yeah, we can have our, our Hexproof creature that we can make even bigger and give Trample. I'm all about that. Um, we have a couple other M20 additions. We got Bark Troll, a card that I have not given enough love to overall. Um... And so yeah, I'm, I'm interested to play some some Bark Hydrol. I haven't played it enough. I don't I don't think. Um, so let's try that one out. And of course we have Voracious Hydra, a good green removal spell. So yeah, this looks like a pretty sweet no nonsense deck. Um, yeah, let's just give it a try. We're gonna play some matches here in ranked. See how it does for us. See if we can stomp. Here we go, Mono Green Stompy. Yeah, this deck did well in the MCQ. Land of War Elves is, is much, much better than Grazer in these kind of decks. You want a Boreal Grazer. Like, a Boreal Grazer is better when you're playing Field of the Dead. So, like, having actual lands on the battlefield is more important than, like, as far as, like, the, the ramping goes. One. And then, two, you really need to be playing, like, 27-plus lands to be playing a Boreal Grazer. And it being be effective because if you're if you're playing a lower land count like this, like 23, just so much of the time you're a boreal grazer. Like we'll put like think if we had like an boreal grazer in this hand, like turn one we play a boreal grazer we get an extra land drop. Turn two we have three mana, so that's good. It it gave us a third mana for the next turn. Turn three we would still have three mana. And just like we would normally have. So the, we would spend an entire card just to get an extra mana for one turn. And that's just not really worth it. So you, you need to be playing a ton of lands with the Boreal Grazer. Because after you get that extra land drop, you need to continue to regularly hit land drops like normal. Do you like how Steel Leaf Champion does not get blocked by zombie tokens? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I wish the Mirage lands were full art as well. We are stomping. The Pelt Collector has Trample now. Once it has three counters against Trample. So 4-4 four, four, Trample. That's rough. Yeah, that's not ideal. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. 
We will not fail. Behold nature's true power. All right, we got them down to two. Hopefully Nissa can finish this out. There we go. Boom. Hard fought game. Game was pretty difficult. We had to attack them. All right, Bant stuff. Don't really want Vela somewhere against Bant stuff. Don't want Brontodon. Don't want Vivian. Uh, Carnage Tyrant's a little slow. So Galta and Nullhide. Galta's in our deck. Galta's in the sideboard for, like, red decks um, that, you know, can't really deal with it or just other, other creature decks. I could see Galta being okay here. They do have some removal, though, for it. Nullhide, don't really need. I think I'm going to go with this again. <laughs> Thanks, Storm. Glad you thought I played that very skillfully. <laughs> yeah, we're putting the G back in aggro over here. Kitty, come back. Okay. Okay. Good kitty. My week's been going good, J-Rock. How's your week going? jealous. I wish I had a Land War Elf. Land War Elf on the play has never been beaten, though. So it looks like we're going to lose this one. Hey, what's up, Trith? Thank you so much for the resub there and getting us to our sub goal. Hawkeye, we're at the sub goal. Hawkeye's like, yay, sub goal. Sub goal. Boom. So that was a turn four crisis for six. That's a quality hand right there from our opponent. That was a very good hand. Hmm. Playing either Planeswalker... Means they die to the crisis. No, we don't have any rabbit bites. Thing like that. We have we have Vivian that that deals damage, and we have a uh, voracious Hydra that can fight. Yeah, this was a, a pretty awesome hand for our opponent. We're gonna go to the next game. And we're off on the play, still broken. Yeah, Hawkeye is the sweetest cat. <laughs> Interactive series. Yeah, Thrash is better than Bite. Yeah. I did not play that game very skillfully. Not nearly as skillfully as I played the first game. That's because everyone's cat... Yeah, everyone's cat is the best. You're the best, okay. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Okay. What's our opener going to be? It's going to be a keep or a mole. It'll be a keep. Really want to see one of the Planeswalkers. Especially Nyssa. Would be a great hand to draw Nyssa. No, I can't. I can't voracious hydra that thing. I want to. But I got. I gotta wait a turn. I gotta make this thing bigger. I can't just go with just a one-two for that card. Which which decks? Knight. What which, which decks are you referring to? That's not a good sign, scrying to the top. No. Man, if one if our one of our last two draw steps would have been any card to play, this would have been a lot better. What did they scry to the top? What? Okay, that's a card to play. Which does make my life better. We got seven trample coming in here. If they gotta have like time wipe, right? Hmm. I guess maybe they just have time wipe, so I shouldn't have played the steel leaf. But we're gonna draw Nessa and kill them. Yeah. <clears throat> this that does mean they don't get a shock in for time wipe. Actually, yeah, playing the Steel Leaf meant they don't get a shock in. Because if, if I don't play Steel Leaf, they get to block the 3-3. Three, three, and they only take 4. Alright. Stomp. Yeah, they might have scribed like a time wipe to the top. <clears throat> Okay, out of the decks that I'm playing tonight. Um, sorry. Uh, which one's the most fun to play out of these? This one is... I mean, I I, I do like me a, a good green beatdown deck. So I'd probably say this, even though it's, it's probably not the strongest, but this is probably my, my favorite to play. Um, yeah. So not on, like, strongest, but on, on favorite to play, I would go with this one. Alright, we're gonna draw well, right, Hawkeye? Yeah, I'm, I really like in these Mirage lands. They're so cool. Uh, sorry to hear it, Trog. Hope the lawn mowing goes well. I would say that was a good draw. Good job, Hawkeye. Way to give me that draw. Now, can you get me a Vivian or a Nyssa? Pretty please. Thank you. Thank you, Hawkeye. You the best. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. Like, yep, I'd I'm get the best. Out of the way if I were you. Look at this perfect hand that I definitely kept and did not get lucky to draw into whatsoever. Um, yeah, uh, 
J Rock, you want like the Azorius Skies that we played earlier? That's you could just play that that main deck. That's a that's a really good deck to play in that Dominaria event. It's a very fast deck to play as well. I'm just gonna pump this thing up here. We're fit enough to survive. Honestly, this deck that we're playing right here would be pretty good too. I think you do. I think you do just want like yeah, this one right here would be would be just fine to play it too. I think you want just a just a, a linear aggro deck that's doing its thing. So yeah, this would be just fine also. This place is like a zoo. Yeah, John Dinos is a great one. Yeah, John John Dinos is a great deck. It's a, yeah, it's 619. You don't need to delete that. It's okay. All right, so we're playing against Teamer Elementals. almost forget because that game ended pretty quickly. Oh, hey, we have a Voracious Hydra over here. I forgot about that. That would have been a good card to put in against the Bantak probably. I kind of want to play the Galtas here because they don't have that much removal, and like their removal is red based, and Galta is very good against red based removal. So yeah, I think this is a Galta matchup. So if we bring in Galta and Voracious Hydra, I think we cut the Vine Mare, cut a couple of Vine Mares, because they can block Vine Mare pretty easily. So yeah, let's let's trim a couple of Vine Mares and bring those in. All right. Yeah, I only have one of the other, the cool promo Galta. I should have, I should have played whatever event, I don't remember what event that was, but I needed to play that more, because I only got one of them. So, like, we need two Galtas, so I didn't want to have, like, one, you know, like, one of each Galta kind of thing. Oh. Yeah. Hawkeye's the one that got me those draw steps. He doesn't seem too impressed. You want to see too impressed, Hawkeye? All right, good opening hand here. Hawkeye the Taskmaster. Hawkeye, I think he's like right around 11 or so. Maybe 12. Uh, Land of War Elf is better than Pelt Collector on turn one. You want the extra mana. Like, if you, if you have both Land of War Elf and Pelt Collector in your hand, you should be playing Land of War Elf. Most likely, only... Difference being if you're on the play and you know that like after Pelt Collector you're you can go like Paradise then Steel Leaf and you know you can you can start pumping it up quite a bit. That'd be the exception. Close your eyes, breathe, and listen to the sounds of the wild. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Boom. So now they could shock Paradise Druid, but they could also just like Swing three at Vivian and shock Vivian. They may be wanting to do that, but we have a backup Vivian. I mean, our three card opener was good. It would be nice to draw a spell to go You're along with it. Worms. But this, this three card opener may be just good enough to get there, though. Stomping time. 
So they're both four power with trample. I don't, I don't mind incentivizing my opponent to uh, use their three land war elves to to attack the Arcbow Ranger because if they're they're attacking Arcbow Ranger with their three land war elves this turn, it's going to be pretty hard for them to stay alive. They must have had like a bunch of blue cards in their hand or something, like a bunch of Risen Reefs that they couldn't play. But our, our deck's doing what it does. It stomps. Can you stop the stomp? If not, getting stomped. <laughs> yep, never blocked. They never had like a good block. They, you know, in hindsight, they're probably regretting not double blocking like turn two whenever I attacked with the 2-2 Pelt Collector. And they didn't double block it. Oh, this is... It's kind of rough. I mean, this is rough. If we don't draw lands, we lose. If we draw lands, we probably win, but not necessarily guaranteed. So we need we really need to draw two lands with this hand. Because like one land, sure we get to play Steel Leaf, but we have to draw two. And on the play, needing to draw two lands, I don't like our chances there. This is better. We will keep this and say see a pelt collector and go first with this. Yeah, Fine Mayor is pretty busted against a mono black aggro, that is true. We'll lead with Nisa Ultimate. What a strange and magnificent world. The land shall conquer you. I guess we can with the arc bow at my side, I can't lose a fight. Give me that back. Get him. Chomp. Land fights for us. Wow, not even blocking the two one. Why would you not block the two one here? My strength fades. Hmm. Yeah, Vivian's awesome. All right, so playing against Scape Shift. Just keep it as is. Voracious Hydra better than Thorn Lieutenant. If they're gonna have deputies. Maybe it is. Yeah, the four mana Vivian and the five mana Vivian kind of go in different decks. They do different things. The five mana Vivian's a whole lot better card advantage engine. This Vivian is a lot better at ending games quickly. It's a lot better aggressive card. The other one's a lot better card advantage engine for a, for like a mid range deck that's trying to play a long game. So it's yes, yeah, so they they do different things. So whether like I don't really know which one's better than the other. They they just kind of do different things. They're both both very good at what they do. Q Q Quincy. 
We have a new QQ with the sub. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for that support. I really appreciate that. Hope you're having an awesome Tuesday evening or, you know, I guess afternoon, night, wherever you're at. Mono green Stompy. Stomping opponents. This deck's been pretty sweet. We've had a lot of opponents that haven't really done very much, but our deck's been, you know, ending games before they get to do stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Storm. Glad you, I'm, uh, glad you're impressed with the skill that I showed that game. That game, too, was pretty tough. I guess mono, mono black's the new thing. All right, where's my Jess guy walkers? Talk about a curve. I'm not going to show my opponent more of my deck. That one's over. Alright, so I think I went Null Hide. Gosh, this is a hard one. Like, I want Null Hide and I want Veil of Summer. Maybe I don't need Veil of Summer, but Veil of Summer does seem pretty awesome. The reason why I want Null Hide is just because it's it's so like in, against other creature decks, it's just so big. Maybe I don't play Null Hide though. How would I fit in Null Hide and Veil of Summer? The problem is, is like if I bring in Null Hide, I need to like trim the Planeswalkers, because like. As we saw there, if we just don't really have creatures, they can just kill my Planeswalkers pretty easily. The Planeswalkers are so good, though. And Hydra is like... I don't know. Yeah, I, I should be playing Hydra's. Hmm. This is tough. Cause I, I like all six I like all of these cards. We have to cut eight of them. Kind of trimming stuff before we run out of time. Turn three, Nissa. Beast Whisper could be a thing in the deck, but this deck is like how aggressive this deck is, and with like the the Planeswalkers at the top end, I, I really like those. I think this would. Yeah, basically, there's nothing I really want Beast Whisper over, but like maybe like sideboard. But then again, it's probably better just to be playing more Planeswalkers instead of creatures against removal heavy decks.
Looks like our opponent has some difficult mulliganing decisions. I, d I don't want three mana Vivian in the main deck. Yeah, Arcbot Ranger is so nice. Alright, so they had game one where they curved one, two, three. The land will not Darn. You. See, we had the game where we had turn three Nissa. It's not over, though. Not yet. Fine Mare is going to be tough for them to... Race hexproof and unblockable. Okay, we're playing plague mares over here. Okay, Let's see if we want to change up our sideboarding. Yeah, Vine Mare is just unstoppable. So the Nightmare. Like, this one says Nightmare. Like, this is... That's not the Nightmare Horse. This is the Nightmare Horse. That was the block I really wanted. Now, Vine Mare plus either of these is lethal. If they would not have made that block, then I would have just, um, you know, I would have just added the counters. You know, if they would have just double, if they would double block, then I'd make a four or five. Like, they double block and kill the, kill the forest. Okay, so on the draw... I think we trim trim Paradise Druid instead of Thorn Lieutenant on the draw. Paradise Druid is so important, but that Nightmare Horse that they're playing. I mean, I could just cut Pelt Collector as a course. And just go with this. Um, you know, could just do that. Can we get another? I want to play these other null hides and and arc bows. The rangers. I want to play other more of those. But like voracious hiders also like basically cost four mana. It's the thing we have like. Our curve's, like, kind of high, because these things, like, we're not playing for three, so these, like, really cost four, so, like, that's, like, a lot of fours over here. Maybe I'll just keep the Arcbow Rangers and not play Null Hide. <laughs> Very skillful top deck. Thanks, Storm. Can you do a tutorial on how to get, draw good cards? Um, it's all about positive thinking and envisioning the card, you know, like seeing how it looks of like that card flipping up and, and it, it appearing and, you know, just believing that it will it obviously doesn't happen all the time, you know, but that's, that's how you, uh, that's how you draw better cards. Hmm. 
Hmm. So I have nothing to do on turn one, nothing to do on turn two. Turn three, I'm playing Steel Leaf. My opponent kept their hands so fast. I didn't even see mine yet. My opponent already said keep. Ugh. Okay. Now the Voracious Hydra. Probably want to keep the two two mana things. It's either Voracious Hydra or Arcbow Ranger. And I think with having Vine Mare, we'll get rid of Voracious Hydra. Are you kids playing nice in chat? Should I have more mana. I would like to play Thorn Lieutenant this turn. We don't have the mana, so I think I have to do Paradise Druid. Ugh. I knew that was coming. Yay. No, don't kill my land war elf. Don't kill my land war elf. I don't need that fourth man. I I don't need the fourth mana, so just ignore land war elf. Ugh! Double duress wrecked. Our opponent should have played their Swamp, though, and then attacked with the Knight. They could have got one point of damage in. And then Duress. Yeah, now the Ebon Legion is pretty busted. So if I block with Vine Mare, we just trade. If I don't block, we don't get to trade. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Man, double duress and then just lands over here. Man, I need that that Vivian to pump up my vine vine mare. So they're they're dead in three turns. I guess I'm dead next turn. Gross. Ugh. And remember, so that was four lands in a row. Yeah, that that third land was like a really good draw, but and then the fourth, then the fifth, then the sixth. All three of those just dead cards. Our last three draw steps. Yeah, they had they had their noxious grasps. We didn't get so they got to play two noxious grasps, and we had four Vela summers, in like the. The hate card battle. We did not draw any of our Vela Summers. The Vela Summer beats Noxious Grasp. Pretty hard. Oh well. Alright, one more match here with Mono Green Stompy before we turn it over to Bant Midrange. 
that's what happens with the stompy decks you're just kind of at the mercy of your draw steps sometimes you draw good sometimes you don't hey ggs jeremy yeah you well you, you figured it out I figured out how to beat vine mare just have it so i only have vine mare and i have nothing else <laughs> the yeah you can race it like your uh your 4-4 four, four flyer was good that was a good good racing card Yeah, good match, though. All right, we're going to be mulliganing this. Opening hand here. Maybe we're playing against Mono Black again. We can have Vine Mirror. With Arcbow Ranger. Vine Mare does not get blocked by zombies, so that's pretty cool. That's a neat upside to Vine Mare. Dang, six draw steps in a row for lands for us between the two games now. This isn't a fight you can win. I'll protect you. Seven draw steps in a row for lands. I've got it. That's done. Let's I guess I'm... Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to kill Teferi or not. I guess I am. Let's see, if I if I don't kill Teferi. Yeah, we should probably just kill Teferi. If I don't. It's not quite lethal next turn anyway. I'm not worried about instant speed scape shift. I'm worried about time wipe. That's the card that I'm worried about. Scape shift, I'm not worried about at all. All right, I don't. Now, now they're too close to winning, so I have to attack them, and they they get to minus to ferry anyway now. So, yeah, it's not not even a big deal. I've got time. I've survived an apocalypse. All I right, so we survive. should be able to kill them next turn, unless they have like this will be fun to watch. time wipes. The only thing that saves them. There's not really any reason to play this land war elf. There's there's not a card in their deck besides time wipe that saves them. Oh, Krasis. Oh, actually, I forgot about Krasis. Hmm. That still doesn't save them. Yeah, Krasis can only gain two life, and then the other vine mare kills them. No, it doesn't. Because they block the big one. We can't have them not block the eight power one. Yeah, I guess Krasis would would keep them to, would knock them down to one, basically. Yeah, Vimeres cannot be blocked by black creatures. We just we don't even have to worry about these zombies. These things don't matter. 
No, that's a blocker. That's just one little blocker, though. All right, we got this. If they had, like, that plus deputy detention to get rid of the, the Vivian... You think I should kill their blocker with Vivian? Oh, well, they'll, assuming they're going to attack Vivian for four, I was just going to tick up and give my creatures trample also. Like, we can get, make these both seven power tramplers. So they'll take 14. They can block three. So if they would have had untapped land crisis... Actually, they were still dead with un untapped land crisis. They were still dead the previous turn. So yeah, they're just, they're just pretty dead. Yeah, these zombies ain't scared of no. Or sorry, these horses aren't scared of no zombies. There we go. You were lucky to get that close. Yeah, it's really time wipe. They needed time wipe. I'd get out of the way if I were you. So yeah, like, Steel Leaf Champion cannot be blocked by zombies. Vine Mare cannot be blocked by zombies. Like, our, our two main threats that we're pumping up with the Yark Bow Ranger cannot be blocked by zombie tokens. Don't love my sideboard here. Could play these Galtas and trim Nissas. Nissa isn't spectacular in this matchup. Three threes are a little small. I don't really like Voracious Hydra is good against Deputy Attention, but not really that good against anything else in their deck. So like maybe I just cut some Voracious Hydras and just hope they don't have Deputy Attention, kind of thing, and just play a couple Galtas. That's, that seems good. Let's try this. Field of Ruin. Yeah, we don't have Field of Ruins in here because we need as many green sources as possible. Like we need we need our first three lands all to be green. We don't we can't really have the colorless lands right away because of Steel Leaf Champion. A little bit of a slow hand on the draw here. This may be too slow. We'll see. Hey, Lion A. Uh, just Google search arena MCQ deck lists, and it's like the first thing. Like Magic Arena MCQ deck lists. That's all I did. It's like right there. Yeah, it's on the official MTG site. I don't have the link handy. Just, just do that. You'll find it. It, it was, it's in two, two web pages because there's 128 lists, so they broke it up like half of them on one, half of them on the other. It's a lot of vampires, a lot of vampires, a lot of scape shift, and a lot of mono red. Those were certainly the top three decks, and then the, the fourth most played deck. There was also a lot of feather. 
Feather was like the other thing that I recognized over and over again was a lot of Feather. But those those four, I don't I didn't you know count like how much those four are, but those four are certainly a big majority of the list. <laughs> Google OP. No, my champion. Oh man, our real estate business is not going well. Got a real shortage of land over here. The turn we needed Vine Mare there that turn. You're on the draw. Destroy Baffling End. Do it. Wow, just gain four life? Wait, really? That was the second worst option. That that doesn't even block Thorn Lieutenant now. Why don't you just make that a 4-3? I, I have all these Vine Mares you saw. Hmm. Together we will prevail. The land I mean, that's not as bad as blowing up your own Baffling End, but close. The only reason to do that would be you're planning on time wiping the next turn. That would be the only reason to do that. Okay, planning on time wiping. And I'm still fine with that because we still get Vine Mare plus Vivian. That's why we've got that Nissa in play. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. Same. My, my, how you've grown. How many time wipes you got over there? I don't think we really need to play anything else into time wipe. Into another one. Okay, well, now we definitely play another thing. Play another card into another time wipe, obviously. Do they have 20 points? 20 to kill us? I didn't see. I didn't. I don't know how many lands they had. So I don't, I don't know if we're dead or not. I wish there was like a Gore Clan Rampager or some some sideboard creature I could go grab that would like make this lethal. Double the power of my double the power and trample. So sixteen creatures, yeah that seems pretty lethal. Ooh, a Ronus. Yeah, Ronus would be cool. Hmm. Hmm. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Do 
Oh, and they figured it out. All right, we are just a little bit too slow Ugh, here, missing that land drop on the draw. We were like a turn too slow. I was hoping my opponent blocked with a bunch of, you know, like let two, you know, let four creatures die with blocking there. Uh, all right, hopefully no time wipes this time. For game three here. Yeah, we get to be on the play, which is nice. Are not a very good hand against Time Wipe. But it's honestly the exact same hand that we kept last time of like two drop steel leave fine mare. It's the exact same kind of hand we had last time. And just like last time, we're going to miss our fourth land. I hope not. And the answer is yes, we missed our fourth land drop. Great hand for the opponent with removal on two, removal on three. Not looking good for us. The Azorius list from earlier that we played. It's the the fourth deck there on the stream decker. You go click on over to. There you go. All right, so yeah, the, the Galta decision looks pretty bad in the wake of them actually having removal. Um. But we took out Voracious Hydras for them. Voracious Hydra wouldn't be any better. Anyway, Paul, thank you so much for gifting the sub there. We have Hadges joining the sub club here. Welcome to the channel, Hadges. Got to get that hype in there. to get that hype. Thank you so much there, Paul. Well, no no time wipe. That's a good sign. Now they're going to start having a whole bunch of 2-2s. Two Can they also have no scape shift? They've had early scape shift both of these games.
They went. Probably just gonna double block Thorn Lieutenant. I'm. It's fine. We get 10, 10 points of damage in there. And trades down on one toughness. Oh, come on, opponent. Be dead, be dead, be dead. Please be dead. Even if, if they have scape shift here, we can do seven with Vivian ticking up on Steel Leaf. But if they do scape shift, they're going to get gain life lands. Because life gain's broken. Yeah, growth. Yeah, there you go. Rotation proof replacement for Thorn Lieutenant. Uh, yeah. Um, growth Chamber Guardian's a really good one there. Uh, you can also go. Crowl Harpooner as well if you want something that doesn't use rares. Um, this is a hard decision. Always have to have escape shift immediately. Just always escape shift. Life gain is broken. They get to gain one life here. Just that one life. So close. Nature will take they didn't gain that one stupid life. This will be fun to watch. Darn. Oh, got stuck on three lands, both of those games. Didn't get to play Vinemare on turn four. Those two games that we lost. Darn. And we were a little too slow. And they couldn't just not have scape shift at the best time right away. Either time. They had, like, the first turn that they could have lethal scape shift, they had it both games also. So we were just a turn too slow. But what I will say is that was pretty impressive how how our mono green stompy deck was faring against that scape shift deck, which is really hard to beat. Um, how both of those things were true, you know, like we didn't get to, you know, like the game that we played Vine Mare on curve, we won. The games that we didn't, we lost. But if you know, even if if our opponent just didn't have scape shift for a turn, even uh, you know, give us like one more turn, we we're looking pretty good in both of those games. Um, yeah, so that that's our, our deck here. I'm not so sure like what all the Null Hide Feroxes are doing in the sideboard, like exactly where we want them, besides like you know, like Grixis control, but that should be a, a deck that's not that hard to beat anyway. Um 
I'm still I'm just a little puzzled by exactly like when like it seems like that has to replace like when you're playing Null Hide, you're are we still playing the Planeswalkers with Null Hide? Like does it replace Vine Mare? But then of course playing the Null Hide before the Planeswalkers, you can't cast the Planeswalkers. So I don't know. Yeah, like again yeah, just against mono red. It is I mean it is fine against mono red. Like is it supposed to be like the thing against vampires? I'm not sure. But that's like the problem is like null hide with the planeswalkers. Maybe like our maybe the taking out Arcbow Ranger against Mono Red. Maybe that's the thing. Like you just take out like Nissa or Arcbow or Vivian against Mono Red and bring in Null Hides instead. But yeah, deck was fun to play. Some quicker games there. And you know, got to do a lot of stomping. And still pretty good at showing. Nothing wrong with a 3-2 and ranked. You know, like we'll take those all day, you know, that's 60%. So like that Azorius skies, pretty nice. But there we go. That's Mono Green Stompy. Nothing really that I would say like necessarily needs needs to change. Um, there. Yeah, Growth Chamber Guardian is pretty slow though. I guess like Thorn Lieutenant's Thorn Lieutenant's like a lot better against Little Teferi, which is kind of everywhere. And. Probably blocks against like the vampires and stuff early. Thorn Lieutenant is also awesome. Like, you know, how you're saying that Growth Chamber Guardian is so good with Arcbow Ranger. Thorn Lieutenant is also really good with Arcbow Ranger. You know, like if you activate like this, you know, like you give it trample and the counters, and you can do this activate ability and make it like really big also. Like this thing can be insane with Arcbow Ranger, like with, with six mana. It can be pretty insane. And this deck's just trying to kill people fast. And so Thorn Lieutenant does a better job of that than Growth Chamber Guardian, I suppose. Yeah, I like him. Okay. Um, anyway, that's Mono Green Stompy. So if you're watching this on YouTube later, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe buttons, leave comments, all that kind of good stuff. I'd appreciate that. But thanks for watching, and I will see you for the next video.